guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you what's in my bag, makeup edition. And this is my bag that I keep all of my daily go-to products. So it's not like my overall collection, I do have more makeup than this. But yeah, I figured I've seen a ton of what's in my bag videos. I wanted to do a what's in my makeup bag video just so you can see the things that I reach for on a daily basis. Now, if you've seen some of my makeup tutorials, you know what's in my go-to bag. But, like, there's some stuff in here that I don't grab quite as often, but I still like to use more frequently. So, I'm gonna start off by showing you. This is my Betsy Johnson kind of tropical makeup bag inside of my bag. Usually I like to keep it, like, nicely stacked, but I just did all my makeup and threw everything back in here, so it's kind of a wreck. I have my Airspun, and this is the drugstore brand setting powder. This stuff is a must. I love this stuff so much, and I like that it doesn't cost too terribly much. I don't have a lot of money to spend on makeup products at the moment, so go to. Next up, I have my Too Faced Radiant Glow Face Powder, and this is just another like setting powder, but it's got more of a shimmer to it. It's beautiful. I love it. And the little powder beads. I can show you without spilling this everywhere. I'm gonna keep little sponge up so just in case. Can you see that? They're like little hearts. And they do have kind of a shimmer to them so they're good if you want to like highlight a little bit. Next up in my bag I have this. Now this is something that only seven other people are gonna have because at the end of last year, we had a get together with a couple of my friends and we made our own shimmer powder or our own highlighter and mine kind of broke. Mm. But basically my friend went out, she found these cute little mirrors, popped out the second mirror that was in it and we made our own rainbow highlighters. Ah, I love shiny containers. Next up in my bag, this is actually something I don't use very often, but I have it on hand just in case. And this is a correction palette with a little bit of highlighter. Next up I have my bronzer. Another thing that I don't use very frequently, but I think I used this recently for a look on a video. And this is just my Pixie Beauty Bronzer Summertime. Next in my bag, you guys have seen this, I know you guys have seen this, my Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. I love this palette. I actually want to get more Too Faced Cosmetics palettes. I love Too Faced. Alright, next up is another one that I know you guys have seen if you've seen my videos. That is my Barbie Stila 1959 number one ponytail doll palette. And this has three colors in it. Um, the bottom one is the blush that I frequently use. Now, it's got a nice blue, a black and then the pink blush. Next up is this. This is my e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow in Tantalizing Taupe. I do not actually use this as an eyeshadow though. I use this for my brows just to kind of fill them in. Next up in my bag is this. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and this is light medium beige. And I've said it before, but I love this stuff. It's SPF 15, so my face is protected when I wear it. This is really, really nice. It is a holy grail product for me. This thing is absolutely amazing. Next up, I have this. This is Nude Dude in the color Flirty. And um, this was a sample I had received, and it's just so amazing. Um, the colors are really nice. It's got a nice shimmer to it, but it's still neutral. And it's a line that I really want to get into. Like, I want to go see the other colors I have and test them out and try them. So, um, probably at some point this year, I'm actually going to order, like, a full palette from them. Next up is this. And I don't know if you can tell, there was a skull and crossbones on this at some point. It's the brand Morbid Makeup, and it is from... Hot topic and this is ancient um, it's something I probably pulled out for um, the compact in it and it is just a white pressed powder I find this really perfect for things like when I do my Harley Quinn cosplay 
or um, zombie or vampire-esque makeup so anything that requires me to kind of like lighten my face this is perfect next up I have another sample that I love and this is my Sp Smashbox photo finish primer um, super simple oil free so it's great for my skin which is oily and horrible <laughs> And this is my Maybelline Master Duo um, liquid liner and it's just like a cheap drugstore brand but I'm wearing it currently and it works pretty well. I do find that if I'm trying to like even out the lines it can flake so it's not the best in the world but it works. <laughs> and next up is mascara and I have this mascara and primer lash amplifying with Regina Lash and this stuff is awesome when I want to go for like a more um, exaggerated look because it does have the primer and it's just nice simple black mascara and then I have my favorite that I found so far which is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced and this stuff is just so nice this is a sample I got with um, one of their holiday kits so after that I pulled out this this is a Maybelline 3-in-1 and it's supposed to be like concealer and foundation I don't know but I was using it recently to kind of like contour a little bit um, and it's in a slightly darker shade my skin tone does change really frequently like the minute I step in the Sun my skin color changes so it helps it helps kind of like even things out next up I have my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil and I was really into this for a while until I found this which is my Marc Jacobs which I have raved about, like this thing, I need the full pencil. I'm, I'm going to run out of this thing for sure. Next up, I have my Dream Bounce Blush by Maybelline. And this stuff I find uh, looks really nice if you want like a cream blush, but it does melt. So you have to be really careful with it. I also have my Maybelline Eye Studio uh, Blackest Black Gel Liner. This stuff is amazing. I go to this really frequently when I want like a good look because I can put this on easier than I can liquid liner. I also have a baby lips in here and this is 100. I don't know what color that is, but it's like a nice pinky color. It does give me a pop of color and moisturizes my lips. So perfect for days when I'm doing something kind of simple. I don't wear lipstick super regularly, so. Something like this for me is nice. I then have my Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter, and this is just a highlighter gel. I then have my Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave in Hair uh, Perfector. This is a leave in conditioner for my hair, and the sample is almost gone because I use it almost every day. This stuff is amazing. I'm sorry for the dogs in the background. They're trying to protect us from something. I also have in here my Mali Evercolor Automatic Waterproof Eyeliner in Navy, which I don't know why it's in here. Um, I don't use Navy eyeliner. Maybe I'll try it for the summer, but I really like just having black. I also have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. I love this color. I think it looks really nice on me. And it also makes a great blush, which you will have seen in one of my previous videos. I think it was the New Year's Eve look I put this on. So, super cute. Um, love the NYX matte lip creams. I also have lash uh, adhesive in here by Revlon. This is one of those with the brush attached, if I can get it off. So, a little bit easier to use when I feel like attempting to put on lashes, which is not very often, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you have created a video where you are showcasing what's in your makeup bag because I love videos like this. Like, sincerely, I love videos like this. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.